Happy Thursday. Happy Independence Day. That if we acknowledge the independence that we fought for from a, you know, an oligarchy, a crown, a governing body that we no longer resonated with, don't we also have to look at who we were when we did that and the evolution that where we've where it's taken us today i mean we declared this was our land and it wasn't really ours sure we fought some integral wars but what have we fought for integrity in a long time N nothing that's really drawn back to money, oil, and power. And look at who we are. Look at what we're doing. Look at what we stand for. The joke that we've become the next dictatorship, if we're not careful. So while everybody's hooting and hollering and getting drunk, I mean, maybe we should look in the mirror. I think we're putting kids in cages and stoking the fire of you know xenophobia and racism that that's not that doesn't behoove anyone why do we not why well we choose we can choose to embrace the unity and the we, the love, the, the unity of a, of a world, a country, if we indeed are the melting pot of countries, which was a slogan developed in the 50s, maybe earlier. Who have we become? a shame so yeah I can I think you can honor part of the idea but the institution we've grown into or growing into is it's not pretty unity you know is about equality not about dis divisions and money. I don't know. It's sad. So we've got the power to change it if we choose. If we show up, if we vote, and we don't just think about our own selves and, and do nothing. I guess. I don't know. What do you think? The less we stand together, the more likely we're going to fall apart. So, yeah. Happy birthday, America. You're falling apart. We can change. That's the good news. But uh, change requires some action and some sweat and some tears. So we've been asleep at the wheel for a while and look what we've had happen. Yeah, I don't know. Just one person's half-witted opinion. There's many others. Big light. Much love. Peace. Be safe.